All right, guys, the Red Red Crest is here. And look, it has been very, very warm. There's a lot of variables that are going to play into this tournament. And we're just going to see what happens. Overall, it's an event that obviously pays a lot, but means a lot to all of us anglers. It's a year-long battle to get to this point, And uh, we're just going to have to see how this one plays out. So we just pulled up to a little local lake that's uh, not too far from Norman, just to sort of get a little bit of a vibe and also just sort of dial in electronics a little bit. You know, it's good to sort of get on the water before the day that you have to like only have a couple days of practice. You know, it's good to sort of get out there. I might mess with a lure or two just for a tinker. And then we can only check into our, actually our house in about till four o'clock. So we have a little bit of time to kill. And so drop the boat in, make sure everything's working right and go from there. And you can barely see your stuff. So the other thing I want to see is this. This bait pop. This bait pop. Heard about it. I don't know if anything about it really. Does it really work? I just threw, made a cast. So I'm gonna put this on my bait to see. Swim bait, plenty of room to put it on it. Let's just cover it up and see. Let's see if anybody in pollen fish, I don't think it matters. It doesn't look like it does. <laughs> this a bit. All right, so same scenario. This is after target two. Same system. Now, I'm not adjusted it yet. Okay. The bottom looks a lot better anyway. Find out. And there's my bait, so I might have to adjust it. Okay, this is where it, is. it all comes down to adjusting. Ground got it pretty well dialed in overall, and now it's time to head to the house. Maybe look around. The, well, first we gotta look at the lake a little bit. It's two o'clock, so we have again two hours before. Uh, they look like there's just a little local tournament out here right now. I'm sure we'll say hey, hey to a few of these guys, and then um, head on to head on to the house and sort of see what's going on there. See what the boys, what kind of fish stories the guys have. Pre-practice report. Pre-practice. The pre-pre-practice report. It's basically us guessing a whole lot of what might go down in practice and 90% of it doesn't happen. Yeah. All right, we're here. The house for the week right here on the shores of Lake Norman. Lake's right there. We're like mid-lake right here. Let's just go see what this water color looks like. This water's clean. It's fairly clean. A lot of pollen. I don't know, my friend. I think it's gonna be a, I think it's like the main lake right there. For sure that's the main lake. A lot of pollen. So I'm, uh, I think it's gonna be a good tournament this week though, overall. I just. I got a good vibe on it. I feel like it's going to be fun. I think the guys are going to catch them. I think the, the field's going to catch them, but I think this house is going to catch them. And it's got a vibe. We're all going to get a real few bass in this week. Now, we get two days of practice for this event. So you really don't have a whole lot of time to, to, to sample, I guess, everything. You just sort of got to get a vibe on what's going to go down and then have to make the adjustment from there. So let's see what this house has to offer. This house is nice. Lake Escape. Hey, let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. Adrian is going to be like wanting to play ping pong so good. He doesn't even know. Oh, these are all beat up. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, hold on. We got a couple good ones. Another bedroom down here with the four beds. That's it. It's the thing, it's hard to find a place for four anglers and four cameramen. So, somebody could sleep in there with their cameraman, camera guy, camera, videographer, and then we'll, we'll figure that out. We have four beds, well actually five beds, and eight people. There you go, I'm just trying to get my thumbs in the way. Eight people, so we sleep on couches around here, we sleep on air mattresses, we got plenty of video games, or games to play. 
It's good. It's pretty cool setup, though. We have to sit up like this every time. Yep. It's fun. Hey, what about it? Y'all made it. You know. made it. I, I made it. I don't know how good I did, is it? What's gonna be wrong with it? Look at it already. Good thing we only got two days. We only fish it only here for two days. Two nights. Three nights, three, two three, days. Three nights, Welcome two days. Welcome to the, to the, to the, the Marriott. Yeah, this, the, this is a good spot. Oh, yeah, this big ball in right here. Big time. Yeah, this big ball. Hey, what is it, what's the name of that town? Uh, Simi. No, it wasn't Kissimmee. It wasn't Kissimmee. St. Cloud. St. Cloud. Wasn't it? No, no, technically it was. The okay. address was Kissimmee. You guys see the Airbnb <laughs> address, and there's a dang house yeah. on a lake. Fish Lake. On Fish Lake, and y'all can figure this out. Behind a house. Okay, you're behind that. Do not. Rent at your own risk. Airbnb, yeah. that place is your own risk. Nice. Yeah, Big if, dog. If you're a Big fisherman, that ain't the spot for you. I'm just going, no, I ain't. I'm going to just call it what it is. You've got several different $200 increments. Unless you have okay. some cash money that you're willing to pay that is not on the listing at all. <laughs> it ain't going to work. Hey, hey, the crazy, the best part of that was like, man, my neighbors are complaining. Man, I need $200. Yeah. Man, how, how, how the, wait, what? Hey, my yeah. neighbors. Oh, oh man, I dare you. <laughs> Day one of practice here on Red Crest. Lake Norman, got some work to do. Now, that's the thing. This lake is not well known for its great big bass. There's not a ton of them in here. There are some. And so we're gonna have to figure out what stage these fish are in, whether they're pre-spawn hard, spawn, or still in some of their winter patterns. Now, I'm gonna guess we 14 pounds a day to win this tournament over the three days. Um, we're gonna drop a video and you guys video before this that sort of explains what the Red Crest format is so that way you sort of know exactly what you're getting into this week. Do you want to get breakfast this morning or not? Or no, not? he always wants something to get break. He goes, hey B, are we going to get breakfast this morning? I'm like, you're in control. I don't know. Like, you tell me. Do like, you want a, Do you want breakfast? I'm riding with you. I kind of do, but I kind of like, I don't feel like going nowhere to get breakfast. Jumbo nits. <laughs> Jumbo nits. <laughs> it's too early for this. <laughs> It's too early. <laughs> okay, so we got the ramp. We have two minutes before we can take off. So we're going to drop in, take off at 618, and give it a full day out here on Lake Norman and check back. So we'll find out what we see. We're going to find out. That's your dang sure. There he is, first by the morning. Spot. First bite of the morning on the spot of ass. Nice. I'm gonna weigh this guy. 140. Non scoreable. Okay. A few bass back here, but not the juice, I don't think. There's a boat right there, too. Local boat, so we're gonna try to. I like it too crazy. There's another one. Little ones out. They're choking that thing, my gosh. They're choking it. Look at that. Just absolutely choked it. It's not a good one, unfortunately. See you later, buddy.
There he is. Good one too, I think. Yep, nice spot. Nice spot. There you go. Alright. Solid one right there. Okay. That fish is about... A, I'm going to say he's like a one... Mm -mm, 190 maybe? 187. It's got to be the smallest one in your bag. That's a nice spot. Solid spot. Alright. I hear just swimming around. It's just that is interesting. Like they're not all definitely not up there on the bank on all the places. Huh. I hear on a shoal. Okay, buddy. Not the size you need to win red crest, but those are good filler fish. Keep moving and grooving to see if we can't find something else. Getting a vibe on this place. Alright, so day one practice was not easy at, at the all. next light, turn left. Caught uh, caught a few bass, no doubt. There's a lot of bass that live in Lake Dorman, but never really figured out I, by I, I just they really aren't on a lot of the stuff that I thought they might be on. You have to go through a lot of fish. Ultimately I, I'm not exactly sure how this one's gonna play out after one day, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up a little bit more tomorrow, and and uh, At the light. you know, we Turn really just have to figure speed. out what we're gonna do. You know, I, I feel like I could just sort of practice. And I'm not saying you know practice during the tournament is what I'm thinking. And then if I practice during the event, then I'm in a good position. Like if, if you qual, you know, if you qualify, then you have you know a little bit to roll off of. I always like to fish tournaments where I don't have everything dialed in because I feel like if you get everything dialed in, you just lock into it too much. And especially over a five day period, it's not gonna do well. So we're, we're definitely coming into this event with an open mind and um, I probably fish about half the lake today, tomorrow, today and probably gonna try to fish the other half tomorrow. So uh, open mind is gonna be the name of the game this week. And if we can keep our head in it and, and get a couple good bites and keep, get them in the boat, you know, we should we should have an opportunity. Day one red crest practice. Hey, we don't burn our batteries up. Everybody. Alright, we're good. Breakers. This is like a traditional problem. You put throw a whole bunch of whole bunch of chargers on one on one circuit. We trip the breaker and we don't know exactly where the breaker is. I think it's actually in a closet downstairs locked. Pretty, so, pretty important to have power to go fish. And we all killed our batteries today, so that's not good. <laughs> it's not good. We need, we need the juice. Okay, so day two of practice. We're getting ready to start. Uh, it should be, it should be decent. I mean, we were getting these cold nights, and I think these fish are trying to really push up to, to spawn, but it, it's pushing them back. These cold nights are messing them up a little bit, so. It, it, that sort of makes it a really funky. Now, you, you know this too, like the majority of the bass, they don't all spawn at the same time. So but the big frustrating thing right now is trying to figure out exactly why and what these fish are doing. How can you plan? Basically, from right now, you're six days away from the championship day. You know, seven days, six, seven days, seven, a week away. So a lot will change. Um, so you're just really trying to get a vibe is really what it comes down to. So. We're gonna go out here and see if we can't uh, reel a few dirty water bass in.
Right off, first bite of the morning. The same as yesterday. I don't know if I got this on tape, but literally jerk bait with Mr. Crappie. Solid one too. Solid, solid, pretty solid one. Starting on a little shoal. Let's see if we can get a bass. A little chilly this morning too. And we got us one. It's a giant one. Hold on. Big. Interesting. And see that current is hard to be right there. It's not so in front of it. Striper. I wish I was a bath on a lipless. That'd be a nice one if it was. Golly, we've been catching junk fish out the walls here today. See you later, buddy. Okay. Well, so far this morning has not been the best. Let's keep moving. Okay, so starting off the morning has been a little slow. we still got some plenty of time, but we're going to try to switch it up a little bit and fish for the largemouth mostly today. Stop here, fish a few docks, see if we can't reel one in. What the heck? Dude, first cast with this thing, I freaking blew it up. Hold up here. Come on, man. Start the morning off like that with a backlash. And a striper? Come on, big dog. Come on. Hey. It happens. You gotta see it. Now Adrian's whole thing is he swears up and down you just do this and it comes right out. But that never works for me, so I just keep picking. I just keep picking. I think I see that sucker way down in there too. I always hate that when they're way down in there. Come on. Come on. I can get that knot out. That's no problem. He's down in there too. That might have been it. Alright. Sometimes you just gotta give it up and say forget it. Just cut the bait off and keep moving. Alright, we gotta get another rod out now. Dang. Gum. Alright, sometimes you just got to give up. Sometimes you just got to say, I'm defeated. It did not go down. Alright, so it's the afternoon. we got a couple hours left and just been sort of pitching around, casting around with a wacky worm. Fish are definitely starting to pull up. I just don't know if you can generate enough big bites doing this. Now, conditions are definitely going to change as well. So, I'm not overly optimistic, but there's definitely some bass pulling up, getting shallow. Um, it'll just all come down to whether you can get the right bites or not. I think you could probably make the cut doing this. I just don't know if you can do well in this tournament, so I'm trying to figure out. I sort of be bopped around shallow and, and deep, and then like, you know, in between a little bit. Obviously docks, I mean, Norman's a dock lake. You just see, there's just tons of docks. I mean, that's just how it sort of sets up. And Ooh, drilled that one. Have she not got caught? Okay, so, 
back to what I was saying, I think, you know, obviously the Docs are going to play. You know, we, we knew that going into this tournament, the Docs were going to be a heavy player. You know, obviously there's 17,000 Docs, and you got to pick the the right stretch of 50 of them to catch your bass on. So, um, seems like bass are, are pushing up. The water temperature right now is, uh, well, let's see here, 63 degrees right here where I'm at. So... I mean, I would have to think there's going to be quite a few of them moving up. But with the cold nights, it's definitely going to push them back as well. So, gosh, I don't know exactly how I want to play this one. Every once in a while, I'll just sort of pop out. Okay, so what I was saying was there's a lot of fish in this lake, but trying to figure out bigger ones that is the tough one now i've sort of been hard-headed i went shallow i went in the river i've got back to the clean i've gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and i've not really got like a zone sort of that i'm super comfortable in now i i spent some time in this you know in this lake to know a little bit about it but we're gonna have to make a lot of adjustments in this tournament if we're gonna want to do well so Swim bait, wacky worm, you know, fishing a jig, fishing out a little bit. It'll just sort of be a combination, but this tournament will be very interesting how this one plays out. Okay, so we have about T minus an hour and 15 minutes before we have to be in. And I mean, I'm, I'm running some of these pockets like right here, the north facing pockets, you hear that all the time. North facing pockets typically warm up the fastest, need the most sun. Typically, those fish are going to move into them the best. And I'm not going to say that necessarily. It has not has been that's not been the case necessarily. So, hour and 15 to go get after them. Not too many counts. Unsure. Unsure of exactly what it's gonna go down. Basically this place just has a lot of a lot of bass. Not a lot of big ones. We need the big ones, so we'll sort of see how it might surprise you how how well they, they catch them. We'll see. Find out. And then and then that place I wanted to fish out up the river. There's bigger ones up the river, and I still might go up there. Yeah. I just ate where water got dirty, messed it all up. Well, first we're actually going to Publix to pick up a prescription. Then we're going to go to Target. Okay. Anyways, um, okay. All right, guys. Day off, an evening off, dinner. Take this place out. Close the place down. They closed it down. One Big Daddy's two. is officially closed because we ate too many oysters. No, we actually did not eat oysters. We actually ate one out of ten. I'm gonna give him like a six point five. They don't seem like they're on the closure. Dude, I'm telling you right now, like the only bites I had on them floaters were like ones that were like this deep in the back of pockets. Like where they were spawning. Like they under on the back side of it. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I, I, I did not get any bites on floaters. Uh, Close my mind. That's one in the swim bait? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get none, I don't think. 
I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Not on fire. It's all backside stuff. But I'm not. I'm not. I, I just think they ain't, these bottom bars are too small or something. They don't want to buy them. Dude, they, they, them little suckers. You, last night, I was like, oh shoot, I thought we had to be up by six. I, ooh, when I turn around and I go run to a pocket and I go wind a swim bait around. Dude, like little squirrel. Nobody knows, we don't know what a boat yard is. <laughs> no, we don't know what a boat yard is. Okay, so this is the deal. This is the day off and um, I'm just sitting here enjoying a cup of joe. Watching the sun get up overall. The, uh, the morale in the house. Mark, what would you call the morale in the house, scale of one to 10? Oh, scale of one to 10, or, or can, I, can I describe it? Yeah, hey, morale, look, this is, the, this is the morale right here. This explains it. This pink, my daughter has this same hat. The morale is different right now. I don't know, man. <laughs> this place fishing weird and tough, man, in my opinion, and I'm gonna give it a five right now. I don't, I don't like average it. average fish. I don't like it. Fishery. I, no, I, actually from what I've seen visually, I think this lake's really good. I know that sounds weird. The they're fish are in a funky spot right now, man. They're smart though. And they, yeah, they're educated. They've been, they've been fished for quite a bit. These bass are smart. Yeah, and there's a lot of tournaments to go out here, but nevertheless, man, I've seen a lot of fish over three pounds just cruising. So when they're cruising like that, they ain't committed to spawning and they ain't committed to pre-spawn type. Not places to, to make them susceptible <laughs> to getting caught. They ain't fooling with us. I don't know. We got to figure it out, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say it. So I, I gave we it a all five. Sort of what'd, know. You, what'd you give it? What, morale? No, no. Well, yeah, I, gave it, yeah, I gave it a five. I mean, I think, and morale. I, well, Dustin <laughs> caught that lucky spot, and his morale went from zero to 100. It did. <laughs> Literally, he caught one bass, and he goes, there's giant spots in here. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, guys, hold up, listen. Hey, Four and a half, see. it might have been a five pound. Oh my gosh, there's five pound spots here. I'm like, Dustin, <laughs> the BFL third place still took 13 and a half pounds. Yeah, but there's, they catch giant ones. Listen, if you would have caught a large mouth mark, what would you have done? I caught one. No, oh, you said if you oh. would have caught a large mouth mark, not, man, I just got a stinky head. Yeah, he don't stinky like. Stinky head. He don't care. Up. He don't care about them small mouth like, or, stinky or them head. large mouth. A stinky head just rolled up. Yeah. and ate my stuff. I yeah, just loved, water loved, champ rolls one a half a degree. He decided hey. to slide up. He bit my. But there is is but skill the, in catching uh, a spot. spot. Bass? <laughs> skill. Listen, skill. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. DC boy. Boy, ain't no way. He a one of a kind. You know, how, you know how when they bite, uh, like that tree spawn, like at my house, they bite the spook. But it's only early. It's like that. Real spot. Not one of these fake spots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just stopped the service trailer, got a couple things knocked out, just got my unit swapped out for the new unit, the uh, Lawrence Pro. Swapped that one out and then um, just had to just tinker with a couple things. Got a couple things knocked out. I had one little switch that I had to swap out. And now we gotta go to the hotel, get checked in. We have a meeting at two o'clock. It's 11.49, so uh, yeah. So just a little hodgepodge of it all. The, the, the rustle and bustle of Redcrest week, it has begun. Fishing is only one part of this deal and uh, you learn very quickly between interviews and you know meetings and dinners and all this stuff. It's, it's, it's great, but you, you definitely have to be prepared.
So we just got done with the meeting. Now we're on to the gifting suite. Look at Josh Bertrand coming out here with a whole bunch of goodies. Good thing about this, obviously, look, a lot of the people who support the league, a lot of companies who support the league, support bass fishing, look out for us. And uh, it's something we really, truly appreciate. It's not on purpose. You know, they kind of stick. There you go. North uh, Carolina barbecue sauce is in a spice rub. All right, absolutely. And then That's Charlotte on, socks. That's what I'm going to wear for real. Like that. Charlotte socks. Getting emotional over here because of the pollen. It might be the pollen or it might just be I'm emotional at my first. Look at that. Charlotte. Thanks, guys. You're going to be a large. Are you ready? So, um, large red? So, we can see it. Get it all together. Help yourself. We've got plenty. I'm sure you got a million hats. Okay. Grab as many as you want. I'm talking about, look at that. Custom Mercury bag. We'll be chopping in the morning. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And then this is for your wife. Oh, okay. She always will love that. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Nice. That's good. How are you guys doing? Hi. Good. Nice to see you, man. How are you doing? We're trying to reel a couple of them in. Hopefully, hopefully the right side. Hey, how are you? Good. We got a Red Crest Survival Kit for you. That a Red Crest Survival Kit. Here from the friends at Toro. Yeah, Looking a, out, okay. A charger, a multi-tool, some snacks, some chapsticks. Hey, you so. always got to have some snacks. That's right. Everybody you always got to have that chapstick, and you already know fishing. Multi-tool, you can't go wrong with that. And then I, Listen, if you were a fisherman and you do not have chapstick, you don't even know what you're missing. It's got you're not out. SPF yeah. too in it. Is that SPF in it? So maybe See, they already know. It. They already know the game. They already know the system. Thank you all so much. No problem. Best of luck this week. All right, all right now, now I'm really set. And a charger for your phone. Exactly. You guys. All right, now. We, we figured you could do it. You actually did a good job. That's a very good. You like the thing. You, you, know? you put some effort into that. Yeah. That was a good that, That's a very good one. It's a dry very box, very too. And that's an otter box dry box. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for supporting us. Too. All right, so we got a few things. Hodgepodge of all. I'm gonna say, not. I'm gonna say, okay. I think Rick Pierce, the Bass Cat, he did it unbelievable. Thank you all. I love the sauce. So, this is the thing. I'm gonna say Rick Pierce, the Bass Cat, phenomenal. I think he's doing a. Uh, uh, engraved knife for us, which is really cool. That's really nice of him. And then the other thing, okay, Toro for the win with a survival kit. That is that is pretty epic. And then I, of course I love the socks. I mean the 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 Charlotte socks. I mean those go pretty hard.